okay good morning all so we will going to show you today uh, how we will going to open and do uh, some kind of analysis over the multi-dimensional data usually we told this type of data as a time series data so i basically downloaded this data particular from this particular sites okay so you can use like uh, if you want a, a sea surface temperature or soil temperature or a precipitation data if you want okay so you can download from this particular sites okay so now uh, how we will going to open this uh, data uh, in arcgis pro okay so that i'm just uh, going to show you so when you uh, download this data this type of data sets will be in a time series and it is a net serial format okay so now earlier days in arcgis you have to convert this net serial format to uh, to support it arcgis format okay so but now uh, you just see in arcgis pro you have a direct options to uh, open and process uh, directly all these type of data sets okay so this is called multi-dimensional raster layer so if you click on this particular multi-dimensional raster layer okay so this window will open up now if you suppose i want to open uh, 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 any uh, sea surface temperature data okay so in that case you just click on this go to the import variable from the files okay and wherever your data sets will be there see my my data sets under this we have this it's a net cdf format okay so if you select that data and click on ok so whatever the types of the data sets will be there so you can select it okay so uh, as of now i'm just going to take only the sea surface temperature but if you want to take the multiple layers then you have to change it from here to the multi-dimensional multivariate cluster okay and then you can select the multiple uh, layers whatever you want okay so that you can you can uh, use it uh, for this particular purpose even suppose i am not taking the sea surface temperature better i am going to show you the soil surface temperature so for this particular analysis i am going to show you over a particular uh, place in, in over uh, india suppose so what is the temperature it is showing and it is changing from last uh, 20 years or 30 years so if you want to see this type of thing so then you can use this particular layer okay so now you just see here the soil surface temperature i am just selecting it and click on okay so as you see this is the multidimensional layer data and this is a low to high temperature which is showing around the world so over the sea and over the soil uh, so you will get the temperature so if you open the sea surface temperature then you will not get the value over the land okay but uh, you will get uh, the value for only the sea but if you are opening the uh, soil surface temperature so you will get the value for all the other parts so now how we will going to understand this is a multidimensional layer so whenever you are opening this type of multidimensional layer data so you have uh, see this is kind of a, a hidden kind of bar which will just come out that is we call as multidimensional and within multidimensional you just see here we have now options uh, here this is my sea surface temperature or sorry soil temperature data sets will be there from 1979 to you just see okay so i have this data up to 2020 okay so that is the advantage you will get whenever uh, you will uh, going to um, download this type of data sets now the beautiful thing is you know uh, if i want to see some particular locations okay what are the changes of the temperature in last 20 years from 1979 to 20 so that i can find out in a very nice way here okay so see i have this map options in uh, uh we have this locate button is there now okay so if you take this locate button and if you go and search suppose for uh, this purpose i'm just going to do some i want to see some temperature for the bangalore area okay yes these are the uh, suppose um, global data its resolution is very close but at least you will get some idea on that uh, particular region okay about some changes of the temperature so let's see so i am just typing the bangalore okay so just enter it and see it is automatically taking you to that particular location so what the india what the bangalore okay just see here so this is the location okay so i am just focusing over this only now in multi-dimensional layer you have uh, options for the temporal profile okay so if you want you can click on this temporal profile and uh, you just see here so suppose over this particular place i want to see the trend okay so what we are going to do you know so i'm just uh, not trained so first i'm going to create a 
curve okay that's uh, the temporal profile i want to see so simply you take this point okay and click over this area which is uh, you um, uh, selected as a bangalore so just see here within a second it will going to show you the trend so here you have a aggregate and options so suppose you want to see over the time uh, so that is you want to see suppose uh, the mean temperature so that you can see okay so and even if you want to change it from the year to if you want to make it as uh, month wise so whatever you want you can change it from there to your own okay so these options uh, it will it will give you and you can check out accordingly okay so now uh, one more beautiful thing is you can create a trend line also okay so to see the temperature is increasing or decreasing so here you have options to draw a trend line so simply click on show trend line so you can able to see the trend line also and if you want uh, uh, to uh, label this okay so there is one options you can label it also okay so there is so many options will be there if you want the level the you, you can go for the level and if you don't want to uh, go for the level then you can so these are the over the particular points what are the mean minimum maximum temperature standard deviation values will be there if you required for that so that informations also it will give it to you over there okay so now here if you want to export this file you can very nicely export it okay so you just see your export as a graphics so if you want to save it okay so somewhere you can save it as uh, the jpeg or png whatever formats you want okay so you can so for the test purpose i'm just uh, saving this so that uh, i can use this with my presentations whenever i'm going to show to my analysis okay so as of now i'm just uh, simply saving it here okay like i have a test and trained trend line okay so that's i just save it okay and uh, you just see here uh, if i go to this particular location and i will search for this so this is the trend line okay so this data set which uh, not came okay so we need to make it is little darker okay so that this trend line i can uh, save it properly okay so you need to uh, make it darker and you can make it change of the properties okay so here you can uh, change the trend line okay color and all those things okay so that you can change or so then uh, again you can uh, transfer it so that you will get all this informations together okay so all the informations you will get together so this is you can select any point over this okay so that over the time so you, it will going to show you over that selection of that particular point so this is the <coughs> all about uh, the temperature data sets how you can going to deal with that okay so now if you want to see some multiple uh, layer if you want to open so that also you can open it okay so multiple layers uh, you can add from here only if you go in a multi layers okay and uh, you have options uh, for the same place okay so you can uh, go to this particular file and uh, here you can change oh, sorry before this you have to do that okay sorry so go in a multi dimension layer and change it to the multi dimension multivariate raster and then you can take the two different variables okay so suppose i want for uh, precipitation okay and uh, soil temperature both okay so you can take it like this and now you just see here here you have options the two options so isn't this one or else this one okay so this two options you will find it over here okay so now if you only want to open uh, the suppose the precipitation layer and you want to see so that also you can able to add it with this way so now you just see here i am just going to open the multi dimension raster layer only so you can go and open this and now suppose in case i am just want to open this precipitation layer so see this okay so you can open the precipitation data sets very nicely so that is the advantage you will get uh, over here okay so uh, where is the high and where is the low precipitations that you can kindly uh, means find out using this find uh, uh, argument 
uh, statistics and tools so that you can use and you can find you know that okay so i'm not trying with that i'm just uh, showing you uh, means from where you can find out high and low uh, precipitations which is happening here so this is the tool which you can use it okay so like uh, argumented minimum or you can want to see the maximum uh, wherever there is a maximum uh, rainfall is happening so where it is so you can use this particular button okay and you can use the interval crease okay so you can want to see the yearly okay so that you can uh, do it from here so that's all so you can use this particular tool for this okay so if you run it then you will get that uh, results also okay okay that's all so this is the way how you are going to process the multidimensional layer there's so many tools options will be there you can go for the trend line and you can go for the future predictions model okay so many things you can able to do it here so that's all from my side okay so please stay with me and uh, always check my videos if you like my channel please subscribe thank you